Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will be performing Nadoc based installation of a Windows 10 operating system using WDS. Till now, we have installed and configured WDS service on Server 2019. As well as, we have added one boot and install image of Windows 10 operating system to our WDS server. Now it's time to perform installation of Windows 10 operating system using WDS. For this lab guide, already I have created one virtual machine in Oracle VM virtual box. We just need to change the boot sequence so our virtual machine can boot from the network. For that, we need to select the virtual machine and click on settings. Click on system tab and on motherboard tab as you can verify under boot order I have selected network as a first boot. If you haven't selected yet, you just need to select network and make sure that network is in the first in that boot order. Once you made those changes, you need to click on OK button. And now we just need to start the virtual machine. When we start the virtual machine, for network boot, we need to press F12 key. So let's click on start button. Let's press F12 key for network boot. As you can verify, our virtual machine is booting from the network image from the IP address 192.168.1.11. That is the IP address of our WTS server. Already language is selected, English United States. Let's click on next. Here we need to specify the username and the password credential to connect to our WDS server. Once you provide the username and password, click on OK to continue. Whatever installation images you have on your WDS server will be listed here. For this lab guide, I'm going to select Windows 10 Pro English United States Edition. Let's select the Windows 10 Edition and click on Next. Now onward, installation procedure will be similar to the installation procedure which we used to perform using the installation media either USB or DVD. We need to create a partition on which we want to install a Windows 10 operating system. Let's click on Advance. Let's click on New and click on Apply. Click on OK. OK, partition is there. Let's click on Next to start the installation process. As you know, the installation process is going to take some time to complete based on the hardware which you have on your computer. And after installation process completes, it is going to restart your Windows 10 computer for at least two times. Installation process is completed. We need to click on restart now to restart our Windows 10 computer. This time, make sure you don't press F12 key. Otherwise, again, it will start booting up using the network. This will start post installation configuration. It is also known as OOBE out of box experience. Region is already selected and that is United States. Click on yes. Keyboard layout will be US English. Click on next. Click on skip. Let's click on I don't have internet. Click on continue with a limited setup. Click on accept. Let's create a user account. Click on next. Just specify the password. Click on next. Again type the confirm password and click on next. We need to select three security question. Uh, let's click on this drop down menu and select question what's the name of the city. Let's give me some random answers. Click on next. Click on yes. Click on accept. Click on accept again. This will create a user profile for our newly created user must be noob. After completing the out of box experience procedure, you will have a desktop of newly installed Windows 10 operating system. In this lab guide, 
we have seen the steps to how to perform network based installation of Windows 10 operating system using WDS 2019.